Hey, this is Mark at TrekOregon.com, and this here is a uh, intermodal freight train for Union Pacific heading southbound into their uh, Brooklyn yard. And to be honest, this may actually be passing through on the main line heading south. Uh, I don't think this is one that they're putting together or working on. You can kind of tell those ones. Uh, they handle them a little bit differently. They, they tend to push forward and backwards repeatedly as they're attaching more and more cars at either end. Uh, let's see here. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, sounds like it's just cruising on through. And there's one long line. We definitely appreciate you uh, checking us out here at TrekOregon.com, where we uh, like to bring all sorts of cool stuff that we have here in Oregon from different hiking spots, different industrial, historical items such as train and, and rail projects, so just cool stuff that's happening. And uh, I always love checking out the trains as they come through our neighborhood here. I actually live not too far from this train, so this is, this is right in my backyard. Right in the Brooklyn neighborhood of Portland. Let's see how we're doing. I think the end may be in sight. Excellent. Just cruising right on through. Yeah, I think uh, what we saw, this had a few engines stacked on the front. I think this was heading southbound towards who knows where, but I don't think it was hanging out in the yard here at all. I just do not. I've seen how they handle trains in the yard here uh, many times, and it's a little different than, than heading this direction, uh, loaded with engines like that. Looks like here's the end. Well again, thank you for uh, hanging out with us here at trekorgan.com where we like to bring uh, any and all things that are cool and outdoors and, and trek-like here in the state of Oregon. Too bad Tiffany couldn't be with me, but she's uh, nine months pregnant at home with our little baby boy. You guys will be seeing him pretty soon. He'll be out here trekking with us. And let's see, here comes the end of this train. Oh, sorry about that. Kind of blurted that past minute up. Sorry about that, you guys. Thought my autofocus wasn't working for a moment. <laughs> Wow, this train just goes on and on. I was signing off a minute ago because I thought the end of the train was here. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna walk over to the footbridge and keep this in sight. So, this is a pretty good tree to live close to the uh, this rail yard the way we do and again it's the Union Pacific Brooklyn Yard just south of Portland. I believe it's in Portland just barely. This particular yard is intermodal freight only so this is where the all the region's customers um, will bring in their intermodal containers by, by truck 
and they stack them up in order and uh, load them on the appropriate train whether it's heading north south or east because we really don't have any trains going west from here anything west just heads out by truck it's not worth it to fuel up a train to go from here to the coast so here i am i'm at the rhine street footbridge and we're going to come on over and go into the elevator keep an eye on this train Yeah, this is definitely not stopping here. Oh, a couple of trailer over flat cars. Those are always neat to see. Trail over flat car is a great innovation. Uh, it came about in the 50s battling the Teamsters as far as truckers doing long haul. And this was the railroad's method of competing with that. They could pick up a, uh, a trailer and ship it at a competitive rate with long haul trucking. And then they drop it off on the other end and hook it back up to a truck to do the short haul. Yes, indeed. Looks like UPS is a big customer of this. All right. I was going to go up that elevator, but I didn't want to. Didn't want to go with that other uh, pedestrian. I didn't want to quite include them in the video today. Man, this train is still going. You can see it through the trees. We're in here about eight minutes so far, and we watched. The entire train from the engines, I believe it was Union Pacific 5116, was uh, one of the oh, one yeah. of the lead, not the lead, but one of the lead engines. Okay, wow. You know, I love this industry and the intermodal freight. My father worked in shipping for Maersk. And it was all intermodal freight. You could send containers across the ocean. It's a brilliant system, a brilliant orchestra of freight and containers crossing the nation and crossing the globe. And everybody uses the same size. I may have to sign off here soon. And if I do, I just want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, again, this is Mark with TrekOregon.com. We're always here bringing you uh, as many cool things about trekking through the state of Oregon as possible. Whether it be on foot, bike, train, you name it. Look at that train just meandering its way through the yard. Very cool. So we're looking at the Union Pacific Brooklyn Yard. It's about, uh, I would say, a mile in length, and at its peak, it's probably a quarter mile wide. Uh, and again, this is the intermodal freight yard. It's bisected by Holgate, uh, which is, you can see that off in the distance. Holgate Boulevard is a, a, a traffic and pedestrian bridge that crosses. Let's see what's behind us here. Oh, looks like the end of the train is coming. Very cool. Thank you again, everybody, for watching. This is Mark at TrekOregon.com. Got to watch this entire train come through, intermodal freight, and uh, a few trailer or flat car in there as well. It's very cool. There's the last one. There's our Fred device. Marking the uh, end of the train. Radio is the operator with the uh, exact GPS location of the rear of the train. 
as well as the air pressure on the brakes and a couple other particulars that help them navigate. Well, it looks like this train's stopping here. They're probably going to be offloading all their flat car and their, their uh, box cars for local traffic. All right, well, thank you, everybody, again. This is MarketTrekOregon.com, and you have a great evening. Bye-bye now.